Good children and viewers, welcome back to yet another episode of World of Crafts with Madeline. M-A-D-E-L-Y-N-N-N-N. -N -N -N. Today's craft is a snail craft because that's the theme of Virtual VBS Day 2. So go ahead and locate your Day 2 crafting bag. There should be a paper cup, a plastic Easter egg, and then two googly eyes. You'll also need your glue from yesterday that you used or the glue stick that is in the bag. And the final thing, two things you'll need are a marker or Sharpie, any color will do, and a pair of scissors, again, that you found from around your house. All right, step number one in completing your snail craft is to cut the top portion off of your paper cup. So I like to cut down to this blue line right below it so that the bottom of my cup is just this white portion because it's the perfect size. And you just figure out a way to cut all the way, all this upper portion off because we don't need it for this part, but we will need it for a later part of the craft, so don't just throw it away. We like to keep all the pieces for later use because we care. So, once you've finished cutting off this top portion, your snail body should look like this. All right, the next step in this lovely craft that we're completing is to draw some snail designs onto your Easter egg, which will be, which will act as the shell of the snail. Most snail shells have a swirly design in them, so I will be drawing that like so. You, however, can make your snail look however you want. We accept all appearances here in World of Crafts. So, this is what my swirly snail looks like, but feel free to follow your own heart. Moving on to our next step, you'll need that paper cup that I mentioned earlier to save. And what you're going to do is cut little strips um, from the bottom, the edge of the cup. These will act as the snail's tentacles, which are where the eyeballs of the snail are at the end. So they don't have to be super skinny or super thick, just make them however you want. But these are what mine look like, and we're going to glue some eyeballs on the ends of them. So take your glue, again yours won't look like mine, but that's okay, the glue will still work. And place one of your googly eyes on one stalk at the end. Make sure your glue is coming out well. There we go. Sometimes it takes a minute. And then you take your googly eye and place it on the end of the tentacle and set that aside. And then proceed to the next tentacle with an eyeball. And really get the glue on there. You probably just need enough to make sure the eyeball sticks, you don't need to slather it. And then place that eyeball so that it looks like this and let it dry. All right, moving on. I think we're almost there, kids. Um, place a dot of glue, probably about an inch apart on a place in your cup on the inside edge, that's very important. And then take your snail tentacle and stick it to one of the glue spots. And then take your other tentacle and stick it on the other glue spot. And you might have to hold it like this for a little while before so that it can set up and dry. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the eyeballs glued to the inside of the um, base. And then we have placed our egg on top, so it's looking very snail-like at this point. But the final step to make it really a whole snail is to add a cute little smile on the front of the cup. 
and I'm just going to draw a smiley face, probably with some dimples. And then you can decorate the cup if you'd like. But here is my completed snail. I think we'll name her Sally. This is Sally. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Sally and I wish you happy crafting in the rest of your virtual VBS week. And we hope to see you back again tomorrow for all these good crafting vibes. Bye.